Hi yogis and welcome to day two of the five day yoga challenge. Today we are going to start in a shavasana so please lie back and completely relax on your mat. Bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Take a deep breath in and feel both hands rise and then as you exhale feel both hands sink. Use your breath to drop you into this moment to find your center and find your calm. Today's class theme is release. Simply letting go of something that has been held long in your body can allow you to transform. Take a deep breath in and stretch both arms over your head, spread your toes, let your legs go long, and then exhale, soften. Take another deep breath in and then pick up your hands, crossing your arms around your body so your hands are gripping your back as if you're hugging yourself. Feel the rise and the fall of your arms as your chest moves up and down with your breath and feel this closeness you have with your body. Inviting movement back into your body, bend your knees and reach the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling, legs up a wall pose, and then extend your arms up as well as if you're a basket. Lift your hips and your shoulders off of the ground. Inhale, your toes up, your hands up. Keeping your hips and your shoulders off of the mat, play around with your hands and feet, moving them inches to the left and the right. They can go on the same side or opposite sides, but notice how your core engaged as you move your arms and your feet outside of your midline. Take a deep breath in and then begin to rock yourself back and forth until you can rock yourself up to a bow. Your shin should be parallel to the mat, your fingertips reaching. Take another deep breath in and then exhale, straighten your legs, straighten your arms, hold for a second, and then we fold forward, bringing the back of your legs to the mat. Pick up your torso and pedal out your knees a few times and then bend your left leg, bringing the sole of your foot to your inner thigh. Stretch your right arm long and your left arm will go over your head as you twist open your body. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. Sweep your left arm behind you as you pick up your hips. Your right arm will flow over your head. Exhale, drop your hips. Return to where you started. Fold your head down. Inhale, sweep back and up, flowing your hips up. And exhale, return. Hold your head down one more time and then inhale, roll your spine straight, bending your left knee into you, wrap your right arm around your knee, reach your left arm behind you, twist. Exhale, come back to center, press both knees down towards the ground, inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Take one moment here, one breath, and then bend your right knee, bringing the right sole of your foot to your inner thigh. Stretch your left hand long against your straight leg and your right hand over your head to twist open your body. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bring your right hand behind you as you pick up your hips, leaning on your shin. Flow up, and exhale, flow down. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, your right hand behind you. Pick up your left hand, let it flow over your head, open up your heart, and then exhale down. And one last time to the pace of your own breath, inhale, open and exhale, return back down to your straight leg. Inhale, roll up, bending your right knee into your body, wrap your left arm around, reach your right arm back and twist. Come back to your center, straighten both legs and place your hands behind your hips, your fingertips pointing towards your butt. Press your heels into the mat. Inhale, pick up your hips so your body is in one straight line in a reverse plank. Hold as still as you can. Accept the rise and the fall of your belly as you breathe deep into your abdomen. Exhale and lower your hips towards the mat. Bend your knees, bringing the soles of your feet to the ground, pointing your knees up. Inhale your hips off of the ground again, returning to a reverse tabletop. For an extra challenge, extend one leg straight and hold for two breaths. Lower your foot and raise the opposite leg. Once both feet return to the ground, exhale your hips through your hands so your arms are reaching down towards the ground, your hips stay lifted. Inhale your right heel off the ground and inhale your left heel off the ground. Exhale, drop your hips towards the ground, reach your arms towards your feet and fold. Inhale, roll your body up, cross your ankles, crawl over your knees into a high plank at the top of your mat. Moving into three spinal waves, gaze forward as you bend your knees, you press your hips back towards your heels, and then inhale your tailbone up into a downward dog on your toes. Roll forward high plank. We'll do this two more times. Exhale, press yourself back and up into a downward dog and flow straight into a roll to a high plank. And one more time, flow back and up high plank. 
Return to a straight line and then exhale through chaturanga all the way to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra. Your elbows are bent and hugging into your midline. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes back under and press back to an active child's pose. Breathe deeply, feeling your belly press against your thighs and your back reaching up towards the ceiling. Slowly peel your belly off your thighs and roll up into a tabletop and straight into a downward dog. Inhale both heels off the mat so you're leaning on your toes and then exhale as you come down, bend your knees, pressing your belly back towards your thighs. Feel as if your heart is reaching towards the back of you. Take a breath in. Gaze forward straight in the back of your knees and walk your feet towards your hands, being mindful with each and every step. When you arrive at the top of the mat, inhale halfway lift, tracing your hands all the way up the back of your legs. Exhale, fold and trace them down. Inhale, halfway lift, trace your hands up, feeling the warmth of your hands and exhale, fold. And one more time, we'll do this. Bring your hands to your glutes and then all the way down to the back of your calves. Have your hands gently pull you deeper into this pose and you can feel a rock of your tailbone back and forth. As you inhale, release your hands, but allow them to flow up in the air behind you, your fingertips stretch and reaching. Exhale, flow up to a chair pose. Inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your arms, let your chest come forward. Exhale, hug yourself, wrapping your arms, your fingertips on your back. Take a deep breath in and feel a back bend. And as you exhale, fold your chin towards your chest. Pull your elbows away from your body, wrapping your arms in eagle arms. Again, inhale back, and as you exhale, keep your eagle arms as you hinge forward, forward fold. Stay here for a moment and sway back and forth. And then as you inhale, unravel your hands and halfway lift. And exhale, fold your palms to the ground. Step your left foot back, release your left knee to the mat. Inhale, your hands tall, and as you exhale, cactus your elbows, bending them to the sides. Inhale up and one more time. Exhale cactus. Release your head back. Inhale lengthen up and then exhale half split. Straighten your front leg as you fold your nose towards your knee. Inhale and walk your hands forward. Pick up your back knee. Take a breath in. Step your right foot back either to downward dog or a three-legged dog. Take the variation you need. I'm stacking my hips or just hold in this downward dog. Step your right foot forward in between your hands and step your left foot forward and immediately halfway lift and exhale, fold. Same thing, inhale your hands behind you in the air, keeping your belly and your thighs and exhale, come up to a chair. Inhale, rise up to Dasta Mountain Pose and exhale, wrap yourself in a hug with your opposite elbow underneath. Inhale back and exhale, fold into yourself. Take your elbows away from you, wrapping your arms in opposite eagle arms. Inhale up and exhale, fold. Again, using this gravity of your elbows to pull your body down deeper into this forward fold. Take a breath in, unravel your arms, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. We move on to the other side. Step your right foot back, release your right knee to the mat. Inhale, your hands tall. Exhale, cactus your elbows. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, cactus your hips forward, your head back. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, half split, straighten your front leg. Bring your nose towards your knee. Inhale and gaze forward as you crawl your hands forward and come up into a low lunge. Step back into a three-legged dog with your left foot up in the air behind you. You can stack your hips and open up. Take a breath in and then as you exhale, step your left foot forward. Inhale, step your right foot forward and halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Coming into a chair pose, inhale your hands up and your tailbone down. Take a breath in, root down through your left foot. Inhale into a one-legged Tadasana. Lower your hands towards your sides and then extend your heel forward, straightening your leg. Hinging forward, reach your hands forward and your heel back into a warrior three and fly. Drop your hands to the ground in front of you and step back into a high crescent lunge. Lift your arms up and then eagle your arms, your right elbow under your left. We'll come to warrior two legs as you drop your back heel to the mat. Take a breath in and exhale, fold to the inner thigh of your front leg. Again, we inhale up and exhale, fold. And one more time, inhale up and exhale, fold. As you inhale and roll up this time, straighten your front leg to face the wide side of your mat. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, fold, pressing your forearms down to the ground. Unravel your hands, have your fingertips knit into the mat and then find this gentle rock of your hips back and forth, bending one knee and bending the other. Take your last final movements and then bend completely into your right knee, coming into a skandasana towards the back of your mat. 
Maybe you can peel your fingertips off and have your hands to prayer for one breath. And then extend your right arm long, reaching your left arm up and twist open. Exhale and crawl yourself back to the top of the mat. Peel your front foot off the ground and take it back and behind you into a three-legged dog. Exhale, lower your foot and roll forward into a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga all the way down to the ground so you hit the ground at one time. Untuck your toes and inhale your body up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Reach both arms forward. Press your pubic bone into the mat. Inhale, peel your body, your arms and your legs off of the mat. And exhale, have your hands now reach behind you. Have your palms pressing towards one another as you squeeze your shoulder blades and hold and feel yourself rock as you breathe. Exhale, lower down for just a moment to a cheek and surrender your heart towards the ground. Your entire body soften. Bend your elbows, bring your fingertips towards your ribs and press back into a child's pose. Inhale, roll forward to a tabletop and then back into a downward dog. Yogi's choice to either hop or step to the top of the mat. When you arrive, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale next into a chair pose, tailbone down, hands high. Root down through your right foot. And as you stand up, inhale your left knee into your chest. Exhale your hands down and press your heel and your legs straight. Inhale, hinge forward. Your hands are reaching forward. Your back foot floats behind you into a warrior three. Take a breath in and exhale your hands down towards the ground. Soften your right knee and drop your left toes to the back of the mat, raising your hands into a high crescent lunge. Inhale deeply and exhale, eagle your arms, your left elbow over your right, and then drop your legs into warrior two. Inhale, back bend and exhale again. We're folding in towards our inner thigh. Inhale and exhale three times up and down. On the third time that you inhale, straighten your front leg to face the long side of your mat. Inhale again deeply and exhale, we wide forward fold. Unravel your arms and send your fingertips behind your legs, in between your legs, pulling yourself down with the crown of your head as close to the mat as you can get it. Feel a calming of your entire nervous system. Pull your hands back under you. Position your left hand in the middle of your body and inhale your right arm up. Exhale and switch your arms, reaching your left arm up, your right arm down. Lean into your left knee, extend your left arm long, and inhale your right arm up into a skandasana. Crawl yourself forward, low lunge. Release your right foot back and behind you, three-legged dog. Drop your foot down into a downward dog. Inhale and roll yourself forward to a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, and inhale, upward dog, your torso up. Exhale, shift your weight back, downward dog. Gaze towards the top of the mat, exhale your knees to hover, inhale deeply and exhale, hop your feet to the top. Keep your belly on your thighs, inhale your hands up and back behind you, and then exhale, chair pose. Inhale, lengthen up and exhale, breath of joy, we release our body down. Inhale up, exhale, release with a sigh. Inhale up, exhale out of your mouth. Inhale up, last time, let it go, release. Stay down now and allow your body to relax. Grab your opposite elbows and let gravity pull your torso down. Slowly one vertebrae at a time, now we rise up, keeping the grip of your elbows. Close your eyes and just begin to circle your elbows around your head, feeling your heart pulse up and back. Take a breath in, extend your arms up, let your gaze go up, and exhale your hands to prayer at heart center as you bow down into your prayer. Press your thumbs against your sternum and just breathe. Feel your heartbeat, feel your energy. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, let your hands go up wide, flip your palms and exhale forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift the wave of your own breath and exhale, step both feet back, downward dog. Moving into a child's pose, inhale and drop your knees to the mat. I like to drop my belly and lift my gaze and then press my tailbone back towards my heels, allowing my forehead to meet the mat. You can reach your arms back behind you, completely relaxing your shoulders in an embryo pose. Feel for the new space you've created by releasing. 
Inhale deeply and pick up your body from your thighs, your arms up, we are kneeling. Exhale your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, inhale your arms straight, your heart up, your head up, and exhale, we fold our forehead towards the ground so our hips come back. Inhale up and open, exhale, flow your hips down, your head up, your hands behind you. Inhale up and open, and exhale again, we fold, squeezing our shoulder blades. Inhale up, release the grip of your hands, inhale both your arms up, and then exhale, drop your arms beside you, your hands straight, your palms open, and just again, feel your energy. Tuck your toes back under, and then reach your left hand to your left heel. Inhale your right arm over your head in a half camel. As you exhale, flow your body so your right hand reaches towards your heel, your left arm over your head. And then we flow back and forth, gripping either heel and allowing this gentle heart opener. Move to the wave of your breath. And then when you've had enough movements, kneel onto your heels, stretching your toes, and place your palms open on your thighs. Return to your breath. Together, we release the fear of failure, the fear of judgment, the fear of rejection, and the fear of abandonment. Bring both palms to your heart. And then without using your hands, fall to either side so your glutes are in the ground, your feet are in front of you. Bring the soles of your feet to the mat, bending your knees, and then inhale your shins off the ground into a boat pose. Keeping your hands on your heart, can you extend your legs long, spread all ten toes. Roll yourself back, and then hug your knees into your chest. Have your left hand cupping your left knee, and your right hand cupping your right knee, and do a couple big knee circles, feeling every inch of movement, reaching the outer limits of your hip mobility. Moving now into a happy baby, we reach our hands up our inner thigh to the outer edges of our foot. The soles of your feet will be towards the ceiling and your knees will be bent. Here you can find a gentle rock back and forth or stillness. Or you can straighten one knee or straighten both knees. It's really yogi's choice here. Just listen to your intuition as we end our practice. Take a breath in and then release your low spine to the mat. Release your grip so your legs are straight, legs up a wall pose. Knit your hands into the ground. And then inhale, we wanna try and stack our hips over our shoulders as we come into shoulder stand. Peel your hands off of the mat to your low back to help support you. Flex your toes back towards you. Engage your core as you drop your toes behind your head into a plow pose. Try and keep your legs straight. If your toes come to a touch, press the back of your knees up towards the ceiling, really stretching out your hamstrings, your back, your glutes. And then as you exhale, you can bend your knees so they cup your ears. Holding here, breathe. Inhale, re-straighten your legs, and then as slowly as possible, as if you're moving through molasses, I want you to return with long legs and we will end in a Shavasana but I really encourage you to go as slow as humanly possible, feeling gravity pull your heels, but at the same time feeling your strength against this gravity. I even encourage you when you are an inch or two off the ground to hold just a bit more, and then exhale, lower and soften fully on your mat. Flip your palms open in a form of surrender. We have reached Shavasana. Reflect on how this movement has been for your body, your mind, and your soul. Remember today that you can care, but you don't have to carry. Drop the weight and allow your emotions to move through your body and out of your body. Simply letting go of something that you have been carrying along with you consciously or unconsciously can help you transform and grow. Please stay here for as long as you need and as long as you can. Thank you for showing up for yourself today and releasing. Namaste.